This is Twit. Pixel 6 Pro. Yeah. We both got we both got one. Have you taken lots of photos? I've taken one photo. Only. One? How long have you had it? Uh, so I got this on Monday. Um, and this is when we were prepping for Ignite and everything. And I'm yeah, like, I'm I know. dying do, to take no this time. around. And I just haven't had a chance at all. All I had time to do was set it up. And um, I have two complaints with it so far. It is heavy. This thing's yeah. heavy. It's totally covered with glass on both sides. And I had the Pixel 3 XL, which is a big phone. This is heavier. And it's heavier because it's more, it's taller and it's slightly thinner, maybe. But it's just more dense, right? It's yeah. just a very yeah. dense yeah. phone. Um, and so like That's at true. night when I'm looking at it in bed, which you should never do, I'm always scared I'm going to drop it. <laughs> You're going to crack your nose. skull with it. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I also think the fingerprint reader is terrible on this. Like, it is terrible. I, I took your advice and set up a second same fingerprint to see so, if I can fix it. Yeah, no, terrible. I know it does. I, I, <laughs> I, this, the fingerprint reader is almost a crime against humanity. And it is. the problem is it, it's an optical <laughs> fingerprint reader. So meaning that it, it's basically taking a picture of your finger. You can see it lights up your finger, you know, your, yeah. your finger is red from it. Yep. Uh, it's not very accurate. This is something that OnePlus and um, Samsung moved past years ago and, and and have now moved on to superior technology that works really well. Here's yeah. what I'm holding out for. Um, the camera that's on the front of this thing can do facial recognition. They did not build mm -hmm. this into the software. They can, and I'm expecting them to add that in a future update because th this fingerprint reader is so frustrating. It is. It, is, it, it almost makes me want to not use the phone. Like it's, it's really bad. I think I'm going to um, shut it, is, it off and just use a pin. I think that's yeah, what I'm going to do. It's, it's, whoa, it's it, that there's, bad. It's, it's bad. really bad. I mean, I almost, oh, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't demo this accurately, but I can't tell you how many times, because <laughs> I'm used to these kinds of things working. And by the way, with the exception of pixel four, every other pixel has had a rear mounted fingerprint reader that has worked, worked wonderfully. Great. Yes. Wonderfully. <laughs> I just moved off of a Pixel 5a. That thing, yeah. it, the phone itself is just mid-range, you know, nonsense. But yeah. the fingerprint reader, speedy, accurate, right. awesome. Yep. Um, this in-screen thing is not good. But I'll yeah. tell you, I, I so the, the, the weird, I've taken probably several hundred photos by this point. Um, I was very eager to test the 4X optical zoom because two and a half years ago, I had a Huawei that had 5X optical zoom with a little periscope kind of camera thing. And it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And I've been waiting for Pixel to do this. So two and a half years later, they did. But the first, the first telephoto shots I took, I just walked around my neighborhood. I'm like, this, these are not, these aren't that impressive. Like they didn't seem mm -hmm. like they were much better than, um, like just you know, a digital zoom. But I went to a concert last night, and the pictures I took at that con. I don't know if you saw my pictures on Facebook. I did for like yeah. for a camera phone. Yeah. We were in the eleventh uh, row or whatever. I never moved, but I did the ver you know various zoom levels, mm -hmm. and those pictures came out great. Like yeah. I last night is what actually what convinced me that this was worth holding on to because at first I was like, oh, I'm a little nervous about this finger thing, you know. But the camera, the camera's job one for me, and um, yeah, the the normal camera stuff, the the stuff we've already had, like you've had. Uh, and mm -hmm. we've had with other pixels is yeah. you know as good as it's ever been. It's I don't I wouldn't say it's dramatically better, but the um, the telephoto is what puts it over the top for me. No, you know you know when you notice the improvement. My sister also got a Pixel um, Six. Mm -hmm. She didn't get the Pro. She sent yeah. me a picture of a bowl of Halloween candy that she took, and when you when you zoom in manually, yeah, yeah, yeah. the level of detail I could read the tiniest print yep. on the labels on like a mini Milky Way. I'm like. Okay, I don't think I can do that on the 3XL. So I did right? the same. Like so <laughs> I, we were sitting in a bar last night watching the baseball game. Mm -hmm. And across the bar at the far end, there was a, a picture on the wall of a group of men standing all next to each, seven or eight of them. And I was mm -hmm. like, I said, what do you think? And they were all, it was signed by every one of them signed yeah. it. So I thought, well, this must be a musical act, right? And I was thinking like, right. what kind of what kind of act could have that many people in it? I was like, Chicago maybe, or, you know. So I took a, I zoomed in on it, took a picture, zoomed in on the, on the screen and I could see it was Kansas and Kansas, the band written in, you know, 
14 yeah. point time, normal, but I, from across the room, <laughs> I took a picture of it and I was like, okay, this is a good zone. This is good. So, yeah, it is big and dense. You're right. I mean, I, I, I coming off the pixel five and like your phone, yeah. um, it, it, it's dense. Dense is the perfect word. Um, it is. It's not as heavy as an iPhone, you know, the big iPhone, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And it's mm-hmm. not as heavy as like a whatever the Note Ultra 20 was or whatever. But it yeah. that doesn't matter if you don't have those phones. It, it, it's it's yeah, it's big. I, I assume the you get used to this is beautiful. It is. Yeah. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, and I like the curve. I didn't know if I would like the edges of it being curved, but it, yeah. it gives you more screen real estate. It does. And right. I'm keeping it for sure. Uh, yeah, it's funny yeah. that I have this in the Duo Two at the same time because the Duo Two hardware is really great, but yeah. every time I pick up the Duo Two, I have to really think about how to use it. I'm like, how do I do this again? It's so not intuitive to me um, to use that thing ever. Like, how do I span yeah. an app again? How do I like get rid of an app? And uh, on this, it's just pretty much. Even though I'm now running Android 12, it's just very intuitive. It is. So we talked about this uh, offline or whatever, but um, Mary Jo has a rich history of not noticing UI. I don't. So when she got the phone, she, you know, I, I said, what do you think? And she's like, I don't, <laughs> she's like, I don't see any difference in the software. And I'm like, come on. This, <laughs> like, it does like dynamic color off of the wallpaper. It's beautiful. And like, and she's like, yeah, I see a little color here and there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All the things you noticed right away with yeah. Android 12, I'm like, I don't even say, like, wait, is there a difference yeah. in the wallpaper? Is there? I don't know. <laughs> wow. See, I think I think that's that's the reason to get Android yeah. 12. It's so great. I love that part. I the agree. fonts are nice. The I like nice. The, the new tinting experience where it the makes you change a lot more the wallpaper personal. just to see what it looks like. You know, yeah, like, it's like, <laughs> oh, what happens if I make it look like this? Yeah, yes. yeah. I love it. I just, I think it's neat. I turned mine, I've got an older Pixel. I'm getting the uh, Pixel 6, not the Pro, but just the 6 because I need to keep a foot in the Android ecosystem as well. And uh, I had an older Pixel that I upgraded and Mm -hmm. I remember turning it on the other day and I was like, oh, I love this version of of Android 12. This is so nice. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. I'm with you, Paul. I think that's a a really fun feature. Yep. It's a nice phone. And the one you got, I mean, the the non-Pro version is 600 bucks. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. Right. You know, and mine is incredible. loaded up with all my Microsoft software. So it kind of is a Microsoft phone in a way. Yeah. Like I've got Office right. on here and Outlook and all, all the things that I would use if I had a Microsoft phone. And all Mary yep. Jo's power apps. Exactly. All my custom <laughs> power Mary apps. And my, Mary Jo asked me a question about Microsoft Excel. Edge today. And she's like, hey, did you notice there's Microsoft Edge on this phone? And I'm like, no, Mary Jo, like the rest of the planet, I use a real brand. No. <laughs> but, um. I'm like, have you been using Edge on your new Pixel? He's like, why would I do that? I'm like, come on, I'm trying to use it on the Pixel. <laughs> no, I, no, 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 I'm, I'm joking. Edge is great, actually. And it's it, it's just as good as Chrome on uh I just, I've been having some weird quirks with it on this phone. So I, that's why I was curious. Yeah, how oh, interesting. Something. Yeah, I use it when I use Elvis. I don't use Chrome. I use um, I use Edge. Edge. I think Edge, Edge. is great. Do you feel dirty on. doing that? Does that any problems? No, no. <laughs> I, I do my best to be as agnostically minded as possible. Yeah, 